Question number seven. Paul Fosterbell. Tenakwe e Sir, my question is to the Minister of Science and Innovation and asks, what recent reports has he received about increased investment by business in research and development? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, yesterday Statistics New Zealand released their 2015 Business Operations Survey and that showed that more New Zealand companies are investing in research and development. Business spending on R&D grew by more than 15 per cent in one year from $1.25 billion in 2014 to $1.44 billion last year. Business spending on R&D is now 71 per cent higher than it was in 2008. We have also seen an increase in the broader innovation rate, those aiming to come up with better goods and services, up from 46 per cent in 2013 to 49 per cent of companies last year. New Zealand has, has, has historically had low levels of R&D conducted by businesses compared to most OECD countries, but these numbers confirm that that is now changing and that we are creating a stronger and more diversified economy. Supplementary. Sup supplementary question, Paul Fosterbell. Thank you, sir. Supplementary to the Minister, how is the government encouraging more business investment in research and development and what feedback has he received? The oh, Honourable Stephen well, Mr. Joyce. Speaker, the numbers released by Stats are very encouraging. They show the positive effect that we're having with our work through Callaghan Innovation, uh, which is the new high-tech innovation hub headquartered here in Wellington. The grants program is encouraging more investment in R&D, including by businesses the member will be interested here in Wellington, Techron, specialising in providing high-precision GPS, Whipster, a video review and approval platform, and Good Nature, who I visited this morning, who are a world leader in resettable pest traps. Importantly, when we came to government, we recognised the previous policy of R&D tax credits wasn't working. Rather than conducting true research and development, in many cases, businesses were simply reclassifying existing expenditure as research and development. The government's new approach is delivering real, tangible increases in R&D activity. Further supplementary. Supplementary question, Paul Fosterbell. Further supplementary, why are more businesses investing in R&D? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, businesses want to compete internationally. Uh, it's important they continue to innovate by developing high-quality goods and services. Uh, we're playing our part through a suite of services, including an attractive R&D grants program, which offers co-investment of up to 20 cents in the dollar on qualifying R&D expenditure. But fundamentally, Mr Speaker, it comes down to businesses having confidence to invest in their growth. That's why it was pleasing to see MYOB's Business Monitor Research Report on Tuesday that saw confidence in the economy strongly improving amongst small and medium-sized enterprises. That's consistent with the stats data yesterday, which showed the fastest growth in R&D expenditure, 19 per cent in one year, was in medium-sized businesses employing 20 to 99 employees. Question 